So Bangalore has emerged as being one of the great hubs of technology and innovation in the world. How did this happen? What are the, what are the roots of Bangalore? How did this city come about? You know, Ed, my memories of Bangalore are as a, uh, as a child in high school, uh, and prior to that as a kid visiting my cousins, and it was a very leafy, idyllic city. So no one is more surprised than I am at, at, the, at, the, at, at the word being Bangalore today that's bandied around in the corporate boardrooms that I frequent here in this country. Um, but I think it's a complex mix of uh, design and serendipity, um, implicit design and serendipity. Uh, let me explain. Uh, I think it has a salubrious climate, and it's always been attractive for that reason to the British during British India and subsequently to generations of middle and upper class Indians who gravitated to it to... Much like Silicon Valley in the U.S. Much like the Valley. Um, the nice thing about India is that you throw a stone, you'll hit a university. And uh, Bangalore is, a, again, going back to the very pleasant, uh, pleasant setting that it was in the 70s and 80s, uh, and then subsequent to that time, uh, less so today with the traffic and congestion, and we'll get to that, I'm sure, um, was a nice place to, to live, and uh, lots of us flocked there for that reason. And it has a little bit of serendipity in that some of the early firms that came to form uh, the software industry, most notably, I think, Infosys and subsequently to that, uh, Wipro, uh, while they may have a provenance that's slightly more complicated than I'm making it out to be, it is the case that they came of age in Bangalore and they then began, began to create a nucleus around which talent would gravitate, other ancillary industries, if you will, could pop up, um, and the ecosystem in general would emerge. And I think they were pretty far-sighted in doing that. It can create huge yeah. discrepancies, right, in, in Bangalore, that you wander through the streets yeah. of Bangalore, which are often sure. messy and complicated, and then yeah. you come upon a, you know, uh, whether it's, it's Infosys or Mindtree yeah. or Wipro, you come upon a, a corporate campus that feels yeah. like yeah. every bit as modern as anything I've ever been to in, in Silicon yes. Valley. Yes, yes. Um, of course, you know, everything that's true in India is not true as well. Right, right. Now, one thing that I people talk about in, in Bangalore is, the, is, and you already mentioned it, the very meritocratic mm -hmm. feel of the place, that there are many other parts in India in which, you know, yes. where you come from matters, who your parents were matters, where it's, whereas Bangalore feels much more like a melting pot where the only thing that matters is, is talent. Is that, is that stereotype true, or, uh, and, and how, so do you think it, how do you think it came about, just the, the original leaders hewed to that, that vision? Um, so I think it's, there's a lot of truth in it, uh, in the sense that Bangalore is certainly, to me, feels significantly more meritocratic and more talent absorbing um, than uh, other cities do. Um, so I'd agree. Now, why did that come about? Um, I don't know that it's, uh, at, at the level of the industry or the ecosystem, I wouldn't say it's, you know, a, mm, uh, a commitment to morality. Uh, or anything quite as deep as that. I would say it's just the practical reality. If you want to serve uh, sufficient numbers of Western clients, uh, you need sufficiently large numbers of uh, talented people. India's elite universities produce too few, so you better you know, scramble for every one of them. So whether it was women who were traditionally disadvantaged or people from different castes, um, um, you would find that they would have less of a barrier to get into that sector, particularly in that city, than they would in other right. places. I, mean, I guess it reminds us that, that it, under the right circumstances, the profit motive can be a great force for tolerance, right? The, the, the Hallelujah. Uh, the <laughs>